the woman and man sit, slightly slouched, and stare directly at the camera. The black and white image does not detract from their embellished and elaborate outfits, what seems to be gold accents the embroidery that includes mythical creatures. An ornate headpiece crowns her head, while the man sports a hat that has two pieces projecting out. The photo of the two actors, taken around 1870, is part of a new exhibition of rare images that opens a window on 19th century China. The nation's people and professions are on display, a high-ranking official, a mother with her baby, a merchant, barbers and a young woman. A caravan of camels carries goods, the grandeur of the Great Wall, water gushes down a cliff, a majestic monastery, and a peak down a street with prominent signs with Chinese characters are also part of the show. The exhibition's 120 photos, which span from the 1850s to the 1880s, are a sliver of a larger, more than 15,000 image collection that has been three decades in the making. Antiquarian Stefan Lewenthal has spent years collecting images of the nation taken by both Western and Chinese photographers, and CNN reported this is the first time those 120 are being exhibited at a Beijing museum. Scroll down for video. Vision and Reflection, photographs of China in the 19th century from the Lewenthal collection will run through March 31 at the Tsinghua University Art Museum in Beijing. The work is a mix of foreigners, Italian Felice Beto, Scott John Thomason, and Englishman Thomas Child, that visited the country and prominent Chinese photographers, such as Lia Fong. Each photograph shown here is a pinnacle of the photographic art, a masterpiece worthy of study. Photographic art transports us through time and distance with an immediacy transcending the written word, according to the museum's website. Beto went to China to photograph the Second Opium War, which was from October 8, 1856 to October 18, 1860 in which British and French forces captured cities like Canton, now called Guangzhou, and Beijing, burning the emperor's summer palace. Beto's images, including some of the summer place before it was destroyed, from that time are some of the first that were taken of the country. CNN noted that the time period the exhibition highlights, starting in the 1850s was the very genesis of paper photographs in China, and it features examples of the earliest forms of photography, such as albumin print, which uses egg whites to bind chemicals to paper, and the wet plate process, in which negatives were processed on glass plates in a portable dark room. Share this article. Share. After the foreign photographers departed, Chinese photographers would buy their equipment, and the craft started in the port cities and then extended throughout the country during the last half of the 19th century, CNN reported. There is an equality in Chinese photography and of Chinese photographers that is not sufficiently known in China, Le Wenthal told CNN. Some of the very earliest Chinese photographers were brilliant. Lia Fong, who took the photo of the two spectacularly dressed actors, is considered to be one country's most esteemed photographers and established one of the first photography studios in Hong Kong. Chinese photographers created their own style, drawing on their own artistic traditions, an example being that portraits were treated more like paintings in their composition and use of light and Lewenthal said that they appeared to simulate painted Chinese ancestor portraits, according to the article. This can be seen in the images in the show. In one, a young woman looks straight ahead not smiling, and seems to be part of the upper class due to her flowing white dress with black stripes. The directness and awareness of the camera is also clear in the portrait of the wealthy merchant and the young mother who holds her child in a sling on her back. 
Luan Thale, the president and founder of the 19th century rare book and photography shop in Brooklyn, according to the store's site, claims that the Luan Thale Photography of China collection is the world's greatest collection of early photography of China. Photography is the greatest preserver of history, Luan Thale told CNN. For many years, the written word was the way that history was transmitted. But the earliest photography preserves culture in China and elsewhere, as it had been for many hundreds of years, because it was simultaneous with the technological revolutions that were to change everything.